Well, the reason why we're here is just to uh, give you information on the arrest of former officer Jason Bunch, badge number 213. Jason Bunch was hired with the Sanford Police Department on March 11, 2013. Uh, most recently, he was assigned to the downtown historic district. Just to give you a filler, in the middle of October, Officer Jason Bunch actions were brought to my attention by his supervisor regarding the discrepancies that were found in his timesheets. The information was shared with the Office of Professional Standards, who conducted a details, a check of detail sites and began to look at where Officer Bunch was during his work hours. It was determined during that time that there was more than one occasion where Officer Bunch was not at his assigned duties, whether it's on the details or while working. On November 11th, 2000, sorry, on November 21st, 2016, Officer Bunch was placed on paid administrative leave pending a criminal investigation and an internal affairs investigation. Bunch was suspected of working off-duty details during the same time that he was working his regular shift. Not showing up for off-duty details and billing vendors and abandoning his assigned duties and going home. On December 17, 2016, information was presented to the command staff that there were criminal charges filed at the conclusion of the investigation. At that time, Bunch was removed from paid administrative leave and placed on unpaid administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation. During a three-month investigation, it was discovered that Bunch did in fact deprive multiple vendors of service time and receive compensation for it. A review of documentation from January 1st, 2016 through his suspension date, November 21st of 2016, was conducted. The focus of it was based on the fact of dates when Bunch was scheduled to work and or had all the details scheduled at the same time. The investigation revealed that, that Bunch had committed 99 counts of official misconduct, which is a third degree felony, one count of failure to perform duties required of an officer, which is a first degree misdemeanor, and grand larceny, which is a third degree felony. The charges were reviewed by the Seminole County State's Attorney's Office. The multiple counts of misconduct all stem from falsification of daily, daily activity sheets, time sheets, event calendars, event CAD screens, and information that he put into our CAFE system. The loss amounted to a grand total of $8,067.03, of which $3,700 were to the vendors, $4,349 were to the City of Sanford. We are still in the process of notifying, notifying and contacting all of the other vendors. On February 20th, Bunch submitted an electronic uh, letter of resignation while he was still under criminal investigation. His resignation indicated that he had found employment in a civilian capacity. The resignation was accepted. As of February 21st, he was no longer a member of the Sanford Police Department. On February 3rd, which is today, he was arrested with this by the Sanford Police Department and has been remanded to the Seminole County Sheriff's Department. It should be noted is that conduct of this nature only erodes the already fragile trust within our community. It is, it will not be tolerated by, with, by anyone within our agency. Our agency has worked diligently to create an active partnership within our community. And this isolated incident only does away with that trust. The incident was swiftly investigated within the time, within the time frame, and he has, will be held accountable within um, coordinates of the law. Uh, to the vendors, uh, personally, uh, who were affected by this incident, we sincerely apologize for the conduct of officer, former officer Jason Bunch, and we will assure you that justice will be served. I'll take whatever questions you may have. So Chief, was he working as a cop? Was he working as an off-duty guy? Or was he not working at either place and going home? And you hit on all three. In some cases, he was working as, as an officer when, as an officer during the course of his detail time, in cases, he was doing detail work when he was supposed to be performing his normal duties. And what we found is that there were occasions where he just did not show up for incidents. But well, got paid for both. But got paid for them, yes. So basically, he was putting in for often double time. Yes. 
and really can only be at one job at a time. Absolutely. Or in some cases, how often would you say that he was putting in for time as a on-duty police officer, putting in time as an off-duty police officer, but really at home on his couch? You know, it's kind of difficult to say specifically, but we know that we have the 99 counts of uh, where he falsified his documentation. So we know that it at least occurred 99 times. Well, let me ask you this. If he's signed in as off-duty, signed in as on-duty, is that two counts? It could be. I think to get completely into the investigation, I'd have to have the investigator down here to answer that. But clearly in your mind, this is a betrayal. Yes, absolutely. I mean, conduct of this just, just cannot uh, be tolerated. Uh, you know, we've worked very hard at uh, making sure our relationship with the community, whether it's the business community or just our normal citizens, and, and creating a trust uh, that he essentially betrayed. He uh, took advantage of his ability as, uh, as a police officer, his authority as a police officer, and he essentially uh, did away and eroded that trust within our community. I mean, in your mind, some job was getting cheated. Absolutely. Either he wasn't patrolling the streets of Sanford, wasn't providing whatever safety and security he was supposed to provide for the off-duty detail, mm -hmm. or he was not providing for either while still getting paid for both. There were circumstances that fit all of those. Get into that, that fact that there's a possibility, or at least what you, your investigation would seem to show, is that he was getting paid to be one place, getting paid to be a second place, and really he was at home. You know, and again, it goes to a betrayal not only of uh, the people who, uh, of our community, our citizens, where he was responsible for patrolling in those specific, specific areas, but it becomes a betrayal of trust now within the police department as a whole. So uh, it's, it's to, to go completely into all of the, the mindset that was there, we'd have to have the investigator come down and, and explain all of those, but the instances that we know, he was effectively getting paid for not doing the job or being paid twice for doing a job that he uh, was assigned to do. And uh, how were you made aware of this? The information was brought to our attention by the supervisor who was uh, going through and signing off on the, uh, the timesheets and found some irregular irregularities that were there. Timesheets that basically were covered the same hours of the day? Pretty much. And uh, what did he have to say? The investigator? What did Mr. Bunch have to say? Uh, I have not had an opportunity to see Officer Bunch. Are you, if you could, what would you say to him? Well, you know, it, it, it appears to be that you betrayed not only the trust of the men and women who wear this uniform, but you betrayed the trust and wrote away the trust that we have attempted to create here in the community uh, by your actions. And uh, are you going to ask for his law enforcement certification to be pulled? We will uh, go through all of that with the course of FDLE once uh, a finding is done with the court. Okay, I didn't ask you, Chief, that you think is important here. Um, I just want the community to know that uh, when the information was brought to us, we effectively got on it. Uh, we it had our Internal Affairs Division who started to look into the circumstances. Uh, they were very thorough with regards to doing their portion of the investigation. And our um, criminal investigative section within the department did a fine job with uh, going through timesheets and toll passes and looking at, at all of the, the areas that were important to ensure that we had as much information to uh, uh, provide a possible prosecution in this case.